Welcome to Infigya. Today in this video, we'll be solving one very interesting problem from AIME mock exam. x power 4 minus 8x cube plus 26x square minus 40x minus 11 equal to 0. And here we have to find sum of all the real roots only. So let's get started by writing our quartic equation x power 4 minus 8x cube. Then we have 26x square, which we can write 16x square plus 10x square. Then we have minus 40x minus 11 equal to 0. Now we will consider these three terms of LHS. Here we can write x power 4, x square whole square. 16x square can be written as 4x whole square minus 8x cube. We can write minus 2 times x square times 4x. Then we have 10x square minus 40x minus 11 equal to 0. Now, if we will consider x square as a, then this is a square. 4x as b, then this is b square. So, in between, this is minus 2 times a b, which is our algebraic formula a minus b whole square. So, we can write our LHS x square minus 4x whole square. Then we have 10x square minus 40x. From there, we will take 10 common. So in the bracket, we can write x square minus 4x. Then we have constant minus 11 equal to 0. Now our substitution time. Let's say x square minus 4x equal to u. So we will write here x square minus 4x equal to u. So our equation will become u square plus 10u minus 11 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. We can use method of factorization or we can use quadratic formula. So let us use quadratic formula u equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, we can write the value of a, which is coefficient of u square 1, value of b, coefficient of u, value will be 10, c is constant minus 11. Let's plug in all the values minus b so we'll write minus 10 plus minus square root of 10 square minus 4 times 1 times negative 11 over 2 times 1 so 2 this will be equal to minus 10 plus minus square root of 10 square is 100 plus 4 times minus 11 minus 44 times minus plus 44 over 2 which will give us minus 10 plus minus square root of 144 over 2 will be equal to minus 10 plus minus 12 over 2. So we have two u values, minus 10 plus 12 over 2, minus 10 minus 12 over 2. So we will write here, minus 10 plus 12 over 2, minus 10 minus 12 over 2. So we can write here 2 over 2 and minus 22 over 2. Value will be equal to 1 
minus 11. So we have two u values. u was our substitution x square minus 4x. We will write x square minus 4x equal to 1. And second equation will be x square minus 4x equal to minus 11. Now we are going to use completing the square method. So I will begin with first equation x square minus 4x equal to 1. Then we will take up x square minus 4x equal to minus 11. So here I will write x square minus 4x in LHS. 1 in RHS. Now we are going to add 4 to both sides. So let me write here plus 4. This side also we will add 4 in LHS. x square minus 4x plus 4 will give us perfect square of x minus 2. RHS is 5. Now we will take square root both sides. So I can write x minus 2. This will be equal to plus minus square root 5. Now we have to add 2 to both sides. So I will write x minus 2 plus 2. And in RHS we will write 2 plus minus square root 5. Now minus 2 and plus 2 will be over. We will get 2 real values of x. 2 plus minus square root 5 or I can write x1 equal to 2 plus root 5 and x2 equal to 2 minus square root 5. Both solutions are real valued. So I will write here real solutions. Now we will consider our second equation x square minus 4x equal to minus 11. Again we have to add 4 to both sides so that we will get one perfect square in left hand side. So in LHS we can write this is x minus 2 whole square. In RHS minus 11 plus 4 will give us minus 7. Now a square is coming out negative. We are going to get complex solutions. So we can write minus 7 as 7 times minus 1. Now we know that complex number i is square root of minus 1. i square will be equal to minus 1. So here I can write i square. So we will write x minus 2 whole square equal to 7 times i square. Now we will take square root both sides. We will write x minus 2 equal to plus minus i square root 7. x minus 2 equal to plus minus i square root 7. Now we have to add 2 to both sides. So we are going to cancel plus and minus 2 from LHS. We are going to write x equal to 2 plus minus i times square root 7. So I can write x3 equal to 2 plus i root 7 and x4 equal to 2 minus i root 7. Let me write here x1 and x2 also. So x1 is 2 plus root 5 and x2 is 2 minus root 5. These are our real solutions and here we have complex solutions. So some of real solutions are asked here. We will write here 2 plus root 5 plus 2 minus root 5. So we will cancel plus square root 5 with minus square root 5 and our final answer will become 4. Sum of real roots equal to 4. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.